Hey there, it's Craig coming to you from the Sports Cabin. This is the Daily Craig on Click2 Houston. As you probably know by now, the Shell Houston Open is open for business. But for the very last time after 26 years, as Shell being the major sponsor, they're going to bow out after 26 years. And I filled up with Shell gasoline today in honor of all the money they've raised over the years for charities in the greater Houston area. So it remains to be seen which local outfit now, other local outfits, going to step in to fill the void. Maybe the Torchy's Taco opener, Killen's Barbecue open. I always thought that uh, a radio or TV station should buy naming rights. You know, then all the competitors would have to mention their arch enemy. Uh, let's say it's the Graham Media opener, better known around here, the Channel 2 open. All the other channels and radio stations would have to dance around that name if they were indeed going to cover that tournament properly. I have a lot of memories of the Shell Houston Open, uh, one of which was when it was called the Independent Insurance Agent Open. And by the time I got through the title of that on the sportscast, I was almost out of time. So a lot of greats have played here over the years, but never, never Tiger Woods. I remember in one particular year when the tournament was still held at the Woodlands TPC, Corey Pavin would win his very first Open. A lady brushed by me on the way to the 18th as I was doing a hush-hush live remote from near the 18th green. Of course, a lot of women have brushed me off, but that's another story. This lady came back, hands me a small dog. I said, what are you doing? She said, well, my husband is Corey Pavin, and he is about to win the golf tournament. I think it was, as I recall, a dog leg right. Well, I got to I gotta go see if Specs Liquors might be interested in the sponsorship. This is Craig Roberts on Click2Houston.com. Go Rockets.